Hello YouTube. Wanted to show you, I think, one of the coolest projects I've done in a while. I used an old uh, Polaroid camera and made a pinhole camera out of it. And what I've done is, I actually got the idea on a website, uh, Instructables I think it was, uh, but it takes genuine Polaroid film or what is manufactured today. Um, the instant film has a pinhole aperture right there. And I used a Polaroid uh, model 104 for this. However, you'll notice that this is a metal case and the 104s were not metal cased. The uh, 101s had the metal case because I needed the tripod socket. The, the uh, exposures are fairly long with this so you need the stability. Uh, but what I did was I took a uh, model 104 which has a fairly unsophisticated shutter system that doesn't have all the adjustments that the, the better models do. Uh, so I took the guts and the front cover off of the aperture and shutter assembly and from a guy online, I got a pre-made pre pinhole. This is a 0.5 millimeter. I got this from a guy on eBay. I think his, uh, his username is Fireseller66. And he sells a lot of these. I bought several from him, and they're awesome. I'm sure if you, if you just search on eBay for pinhole... Uh, you'll find them. Uh, but that's basically it. I took the guts out of the 104 shutter and because I ne needed um, the tripod socket I took the 101 took the old I don't know if I have it down here or not took the old front end off of it This is the this is the shutter uh, to the 101, which this is. I took it off in in its complete form because it worked. Now it didn't work when I got it. The, the battery connections were all screwed up. Anyhow, I took the, took this off of one camera, put it onto onto this body, and then and then put uh, the 101s shutter assembly onto the 104 so I have a complete working pinhole Polaroid instant camera um, and this is a, this is awesome very first picture I took with a is a five second um, exposure this is uh, with the Fuji color film um, this was in, in daylight, however it was slightly overcast so the, 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 the lighting was not bright. Um, but it came out pretty good, I think for a first try. I'm, I was psyched, and I still am. I can't wait to use it some more uh, when the weather really starts to get nice. And um, Let's see. I cut off the, the cable that goes to the electrics because I don't need that on this. Uh, the shutter release is still hooked up. It doesn't do anything. I just wanted to keep it uh, from getting destroyed in case I, I never need, I want to swap the parts onto something else. This one has uh, one of the better range find, or be better viewfinders I should say. Um, and this is this is freaking awesome. Put it on the, on the tripod, pull that tape back for five seconds or however long you think it's going to take and then just cover it up and then just like if you're old enough to remember you pull out this tab you pull out the next tab you wait your two minutes at 68 degrees Fahrenheit and then you peel the two things apart and you get an image and, it, and it's awesome I love pinhole photography anyhow and this just makes it that much better it's a whole new toy to play with and it's uh, 
made from the remains of, of a really awesome cam. I have several of these Polaroids. They're still a lot of fun to, to work with. And the, the fil film is still available. Fuji makes it. Uh, it's an excellent product. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And this is for one more look. This is the 104 that has the original shutter assembly from this camera attached to it. That was kind of a project because there's a lot. There's, there's four screws on the inside that really aren't intended to come apart. You have to kind of play with them to get them, get them out. And you have to undo this, which is a, a little bit of a project. And you have to undo the spring, um, which probably was tougher than anything because it doesn't really want to come apart. Um, but I got it and it works. This camera also works. It just isn't, you can see the wires are disconnected. Uh, I haven't put a, a battery assembly in it yet, but I will. And there you have it, a genuine Polaroid pinhole instant camera. And I recommend anyone who's got an extra Polaroid laying around uh, to give this a, give this a try. Um, Polaroids are nice because there's lots of them. They can be had pretty cheap. Um, and with a little bit of, of effort, you can make yourself a camera. And, and the cool thing is, if you've got a couple of cameras, you can combine parts. Uh, very often you can find these Polaroids. They don't work when you, when you buy them. Um, and most of the time, in my experience, that's because of the battery compartment. There'll be something wrong with one of the connections, usually the black one. You can see how cruddy that that is. I think you can see how cruddy that is. Um, and most of the time, if it's been treated halfway decent, your trouble is going to be right here in the battery compartment. Uh, the electronic guts, for their time, were pretty sturdy and uh, held up pretty well. You now this camera's at least 40 years old and still works like a charm. And then this one, which is actually set up to be a real Polaroid, uh, will work when I finish the battery connections. And I have two others that work great uh, as actual camera cameras. Uh, so that's it for this one. I just wanted to share that with you because I think it's pretty awesome. Until next time.